fellow Singaporeans, don't think that there is no unity in the opposition. I'm telling you, there absolutely is. My fellow Singaporeans, the general elections are coming. Thankfully, the PAP have not yet called the early elections which they have been gearing up for. I suggest they climb down because the public backlash against this idea of holding elections during the pandemic is going to backfire spectacularly on them. But why should I help them? And I am sure if they decide to go ahead with early elections, the Singapore voters will give them two black eyes at the polls. I would like to thank the multitude of netizens who have continuously spoken out on the various social media platforms. It is the netizens who speak out, who hold the government to account with their unified voice. And it is them who will create a better, fairer Singapore. So I thank all of you for daring to speak out. I will now like to say something about the unity of the opposition for the coming general elections. Don't think that there is no unity in the opposition. I'm telling you, there absolutely is. You know, the PAP supporters and their internet brigade are always trying to sow doubt and discord in the minds of the electorate by suggesting there's this unity in the opposition because there are so many opposition parties. My fellow Singaporeans, that is a complete fallacy. Today, the opposition landscape cannot be more vibrant, it cannot be more invigorating. As more and more good people come forward and demand change in our nation, political change, the numbers and the abilities of the opposition parties will expand and grow. More and more people every day are now reaching out to the opposition parties, determined to find a narrative that is the total opposite of what the PAP has to offer and which has failed our people miserably for the last few decades. From the inception of the People's Voice, we have had two very simple messages for Singaporeans. First, about putting people first. And second, making Singapore our home again. And I am delighted that recently our friends in the SDP chose to include putting people first as one of the four yeses in their four yes and one no campaign message. Likewise, the Progress Singapore Party has a message that our government must take care of its own first. It is a similar message. And so, my friends, the opposition are united behind a single message of putting people first. It is a message that the PAP can never come up with or even conceive of because for them, it has never been about putting people first. It has been about putting their own people first. Their own people in the top business positions, hoping that these people will create the wealth that will trickle down to the rest of the society. But we know that this trickling down has never happened. The rich have become richer, the middle class has become squeezed, and the poor have become poorer. And that is not all. I can tell you that many of us in the opposition camp share the same fundamental values and principles. For example, I know that my good friend, Kenneth Jiratnam, who leads the Reform Party, is passionate about returning CPF at 55. That is a core value of the people's voice. It is a value that is also shared by the SDP. And many of us are agreed that there should be zero GST levied on basic living goods. As well as saying no to a 10 million population. 
at the coming general elections, you will have the opportunity to vote for the opposition party in the area where you live in. It may be the SDP, which has been fighting for the rights of the working class and the underprivileged for decades. It may be the Reform Party, with their historical legacy of J.B. Jayaratnam, the opposition figure who first broke the stranglehold of the PAP's one-party rule in 1981. Or it may be the newest party on the bloc, the Progress Singapore Party, led by Dr. Tan Cheng Bok, an establishment figure who became opposition recently. My party, the People's Voice, will be contesting in several constituencies. It may be your constituency, and I hope you will give us your support in that case. Parliament that includes the voices of multiple opposition parties is going to be a far more robust and effective engine than this effete parliament we have at the moment, where there's hardly any robust debate. My friends, I can absolutely envisage working very well with my fellow colleagues from the opposition in parliament. And together, Singapore will leap forward again with great ideas and issues pushed through, and all the while, putting people first.